Good morning, good evening, good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I caught up with American football player Tom Lee and he discussed all things mental health, mental health and sport, American football, injury, all that shebang. So let's go and see what happened. Okay, so how did you get into American football? Um, so in secondary school, in like kind of my classes, there was a group of five of us, I think. And like we all kind of had an interest in it. And then one of us started playing and then it kind of just grew on to more of us playing. Yeah. Um, and then I tried it. I loved it. Um, we got to the national final my first year playing. And then, yeah, six years later, I'm You just here. can't get enough, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm here on scholarship. Why, why, why do you love it? Um, there's, there's so much to it. Like, you've got, like, the mental side of the game, because you have to be confident but not complacent. Yeah. And you have to be, like, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles with someone ahead of you, and, like, you just have to focus on that. But then there's also... A lot going on around you uh -huh. and like it's a massive team game so if one person isn't doing their job it all kind of goes wrong yeah um so whereas like in other sports you can kind of have one person who's really good mm -hmm. and then they can kind of take over the game yeah whereas with american football everyone has to be at a level and everyone has to do their job yeah. for everything to mm -hmm. kind of yeah happen okay so what's been your biggest mental challenge um, so in my first year at university, I came in as a recruit to the team. Uh, by the third game of the season, I had won the starting job for my position. And then like a week later, I got a concussion. Right. Um, which is pretty common in American football. This, the hit that gave me the concussion led to neck problems and jaw problems and all of this that was creating muscle tension which was giving me headaches which the doctors diagnosed as a concussion mm -hmm. for eight months so I couldn't exercise for those eight months I couldn't do anything for the eight months I couldn't play so that kind of like when you have something that's so central to your life yeah and it just gets taken away and there's nothing you can do about it you kind of just, I just, and I just got into a really dark place. Yeah. Um, so there was times in that where, when we're injured, we still have to go to training, and mm -hmm. we still just have to be there and help out how we can, and just like be around the team. Yeah. And there was just times where I just wanted to go home and just get into bed and just mm -hmm. kind of wallow in self pity. Yeah. <laughs> but like at the same time, I found that going to training and still being around the team it kind of reminds you about the sport and why you yeah. love the sport. Why do you have to helps. do that? Um, Is it so that you're think, not alone or...? Yeah, I think that might be part of it. Um, and also, because the whole men's side of the game, mm -hmm. you're learning while you're watching. Right. No, that makes sense. Kind of thing. And That's to kind of help the coaches set the drills out mm -hmm. and do the drills and all this. Um, so yeah, in this time I was in quite like a dark place. Um, but then I got the problem sorted out and I got them diagnosed properly and now I'm back. I was the leading receiver for the American football team last year. Mm -hmm. I got an invite to GB practice and yeah, I bounced back. Yeah. So do you find more support with American football being a team game or do you find less support? Um, so that's quite like, it's quite a difficult question. Yeah. Um, because it's yes, because you do have a lot of people around you yeah. that are like-minded and are your close friends that are there to support you. But at the same time, you've got a lot of people around you that are like-minded mm -hmm. and are close to you that you don't want to show your weaknesses to. Right. Especially in such like a masculine sport like American football. You don't want to show weakness to Yeah, to so do you think there's still that problem with males? Yeah, I mean everyone wants to be a big man. <laughs> everyone likes to act like a big man, everyone. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's starting to shift now, I think. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's, there's less stigma around, um, like mental health specifically. Uh -huh. There's less stigma around it. But yeah, everyone likes to yeah. act big and yeah. not show weakness in front of their yeah. friends and all that. Yeah. Okay, so you run more than a game. Yeah. What is it? Um, so it's kind of the idea of a sponsored season. Mm -hmm. So you pick a statistic for your sport, you pick a charity that you care about, mm -hmm. and then you ask your family and friends to donate money to the charity for every one of the statistics you get. Okay. So for example, last year I did it for the uni season. I got 38 catches and I raised 500 pounds. Right. For a mental health charity in my hometown. Right. Um, from why did you choose friends. that? What do? Why did you choose that charity? Um, so the and not like I don't know, British Heart Foundation or something basic like that. Yeah. <laughs> so they are. They had recently been set up. Right. So they were. They was trying. They were starting to set up the whole charity in my last year of school, and it was the whole setting up of the charity was triggered by, I don't know, triggered the weird word, but yeah, yeah, no, it yeah. was, yeah, by the death of a kid that was in my year. Right. But he had gone to a different sixth form, but he had guitar lessons in the town. Uh -huh. And the guy who did his guitar lessons started the charity up. Right. And there was also another suicide in the area as well at the same time. Right. Um, so it kind of helps, it focuses on mental health in young people right and giving them support and helping them find support right okay so the funds kind of go towards services to help young people right okay which i thought was quite relevant yeah um and they were just like starting the out <laughs> yeah. and then, like they were just starting out as well so i wanted to help them yeah Cool. What would you like to see in the future for um, American football? <laughs> Fucking hell. That's probably like mental health and sport. Okay, so what would you like to see in the future for American football? Um, so really, this is kind of specific to the uni. Yeah. Um, there seems to be quite a stereotype around the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say so? Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, and I think that's quite ongoing throughout the UK, I think the American football teams at each uni are quite, they have a stereotype. Yeah. Whether it's granted or not. Yeah. Um, and really, I think with our kind of team, if you get to know us, you then like us. But then if you, <laughs> but then like, if you don't really know us, then you kind of see the stereotype. Yeah. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Um, yeah. Is there anything else you would like to see in the future? Uh, so really, well, isn't doesn't have a lot of funds at the moment. Uh -huh. um, so if you look at Germany, they're playing in stadiums and yeah. they have loads of money to get new kits and all this mm -hmm. merchandise and all this, whereas here it's just not really there. Yeah. Everyone's kind of playing at a local park. <laughs> like Okay. Kind of thing. Um so well not everyone, but a lot of the teams are just mm -hmm. playing in their local park. Um so yeah, funds are a bit of an issue. Um and I don't think until that's kind of sorted they can really start looking into mental health support. Yeah. And kind of getting that kind of stuff. Even like physios sorted. as well and stuff exactly, like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, everything we do is independent. Yeah. So, like if you want to see a physio, you have to go see them yeah. yourself. Like, yeah. The coach can send you links to places, but you kind of just yeah. have to deal with it yourself. Uh huh. So, yeah. how would you. Do you think that's UK sport that needs to provide more funds or do you think that it should just be like a fundraising thing or, um, you know, so everybody goes backpacking at the local Tesco's? <laughs> we did that the other day. Oh my god. We did that yesterday. Um, I'm not really sure. Like if you're looking at the European teams, yeah. they all have sponsors. 
Right. Like one of the teams were sponsored by Samsung for a few years. Right, okay. Which is huge. There were a lot of issues with that sponsorship. But yeah. they were sponsored by Samsung uh -huh. and they have all these sponsors which bring in money. Uh-huh. Kind of thing. So that I think that's like an idea. Uh-huh. Um, a way to get in like a lot of money. Mm -hmm. but... Thank you so much to Tom. Um his Instagram you're seeing now and please, please Follow us on Instagram for the mental health and sport page. It's really growing and I'm super excited. So thank you so much for Tom to Tom for joining the movement and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.